If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That's the life lesson right there. mahogany and i'm back with another video this video is a tribute to my birthday so i'll be 25 this year march 21st to be exact and i just wanted to talk about 25 very important life lessons that i've learned in these 25 years even though i've learned so many lessons over these years but i wanted to talk to you guys about 25 staple lessons that i've learned so far i know i have so many more lessons to learn but i'm praying i have a lifetime to go but this is where we are at the 25 mark and i have my notes here because my friend margaret she told me to have my notes so i can stay on track so i'm taking her advice <laughs> see that's one life lesson if you make a plan and execute it, you can have success. But if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That's the life lesson right there. Ooh. 25 life lessons. Lesson number one, if you don't like it, you do not have to keep it in your life. You are the gatekeeper to your life. You can control the narrative. You can control what goes on in your life. If it's something that you feel like you want to change or if it's something that you feel like you want to remove out of your life, it's not conducive to your mental health, remove it. You do not have to put up with anything that's not helping you grow, that's not helping you elevate. You do not have to keep it in your life. Lesson number two, surround yourself with people who inspire and motivate you. Be around people that you want to be like or be around people to help push you to what you want to be. Who you want to see yourself being in the next few years. I know everybody heard, if you hang around five broke people, you're going to be the sixth broke. And that's true. Don't be around people that's not helping you see anything. Don't be around people that's keeping you in a box. Because if all you see is this box, that's the only thing you gonna grow to. Like you don't even see your life being anything else but what you see every day. Don't be around that. Lesson number three, always be a student in life. Always be a student. It's so many things that you know, but it's so many things that you don't even know that you can't even begin to scratch the surface of. So I'm always being a sponge. So definitely stay open to new things. Stay open to learning. You never get too old to learn. If you ever feel like you can't learn anything else, you're done, really. You feel like you, you hit a mental cap. Because it's so much stuff in life you don't know anything about. So it's so important to just stay open and learn. Be a student. I love learning. I'm like a sponge. I, well, I like to just soak up so many things. I love learning. Number four, hard work really does pay off. I know it's very cliche. You hear it all the time. You get out of life what you put in life. If you don't put anything in, you won't get anything out. So you, if you really want something, work hard, double down, and focus on that, and you will get an outcome. You will get a good result that you want if you're doing the right way. You can't take any shortcuts. Like Nipsey said, life is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So it's no, no, you might not get it overnight, but if you keep working hard, you stay diligent, you stay focused, you stay driven, you will be able to get what it is that you want out of life. It might not be the exact way that you thought it should go, but your hard work will pay off. Number five, your journey is your journey. In other words, keep your eyes in your lane. You can't be over they're worrying about what they're doing and still trying to run your course their life is their life your life is your life you can't think about well it's not going the way that they're going we the same age your journey is your journey your path is your path you're you're gonna have different obstacles than the next person 
you're going to have different wins than the next person. So you need to always just stay in your lane, focus on what you're doing, focus on your plate. That's all you can do. Number six, always show gratitude. Always remain grateful. Always, even for the small things, just to be able to get up in the morning, just to be able to walk, just to be able to see, just to be able to smell, just to be able to use your arms and use your hands, just to be able to pick up a phone and dial it when you want to. Remain grateful for the small things. And then God will bless you with the big, with the larger things. Once you're grateful for the small things that you have, God will bless you with greater things. And if and if you don't get your blessings as soon as you want, still just remain grateful because the little things, it's some little things that we do, we take for granted that somebody wished that they could do. So always remain grateful and more things will come to you because God can trust you with more. Number seven, speak things into existence. It really does work. Last year on my birthday, when I turned 24, I had a birthday dinner with a lot of my close friends and I spoke out what I did not want. And guess what happened? Everything that I said I did not want, I got that last year. So it's so important to speak on the things that you do want. It's so scary, but it happens for real. Like everything that I said I did not want last year, I got. I never spoke on what I did want and that's where I went wrong. So speak on what you do want. When I started speaking into existence what I do want, I started seeing it. I really started seeing it. So it really does work. Number eight, it's okay to ask for help. I used to be so prideful. I used to be so prideful. I would not, I would be so independent and just do everything on my own. Like I was like, no, I can handle it. I got it. I got it. I can handle it. But it really stunted my growth and it really hurt me more than it helped me because I was able to cut out so much time just by asking one person to do something that probably would have took me like an hour or so to do and they were able to just do it in five minutes. Or just an extra hand. You need that sometimes. So that was a real great lesson that I learned. And I'm glad that I implement now in my life. Because it really has helped me a lot. Number nine. Not everything is happening to you. Stop taking everything so personal. Everybody is not out to get you. Or every situation isn't just because you did something personally. Sometimes it's other people who got other things going on in their life. They, they may come off at you real rough one day because they just having a horrible day in their own life. Stop taking everything so personal because it can stress you out. Everything is not to be against you. And if you feel like it is against you or maybe, you know, maybe they did do it to you personally. Don't take on that baggage. That's something. What somebody feels about you has nothing to do with you. It's them. It's the issue that they have. That's none of your business. How somebody feel about you, if it's negative, that's their business. That has nothing to do with you. So don't stop taking everything so personal. Everything is not happening to you. The world doesn't hate you. Get that out your mindset. Get that out your vocabulary because it weighs you down. It weighs you down. Number 10, get out of your own way. Stop self-sabotaging yourself. If you say you want to do something in life, get up and do it. Stop talking yourself out of pushing towards your dreams because you would never get it that way. Get out of your own way. Stop being so stubborn. I just really had to get out of my own way with a lot of stuff. Even with my pridefulness, I had to get out of my own way. To get out of my own way, more things and more blessings started to come for me. So definitely, it's important to get out of your own way. Stop self-sabotaging yourself. Allow people to help you. Be a person that can receive help. Just get out of your own way. Number 11, forgiveness is for you, not for them. You never want somebody to have power over you. You're so angry at them. You can't sit in a room with them. Let it go. Let it go. I didn't say forget it, but I said let it go. Because it's not for them. It's for you. You don't need to be stressing. You don't need to be so upset about what somebody has done to you in the past. All you can do is make peace with yourself. Forgive yourself first because that's a lot of things that people 
do have. Like I had to learn to forgive myself. So that's important. Forgiveness is freeing and forgiveness make everything so clear for you. And it'll really just help you not be so swayed down. Like the world, the weight of the world won't be on your shoulders if you just start forgiving things. And forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean you have to go personally tell somebody, I forgive you. Just mental, mental check. Like, yeah, it's cool. It's okay. I'm going to forgive them for that. I'm going to forgive I'm going to forgive myself for putting myself in that situation. I'm going to forgive them for put, doing it. Forgiveness is so you won't be having restless nights. Forgive. Forgiveness is key. Number 12, self self-love is the most important love. And I didn't know and I didn't understand self-love cuz at one point I I thought I loved myself but I really didn't because a lot of things that I I was doing and that I put up with showed that I didn't love myself. So once I started to really realize, wow, like I don't, I can't love myself if I put up with that, or I can't love myself if I allow something like that in my space. So once I understood that and I understood to start doing the work on that, it really changed a lot. Like self-love will help you learn what's acceptable and what's not acceptable for you. Number 13, do the work on yourself. Do the work on you. Take, take the time to really figure out what weaknesses you may have and work through them. What are some flaws that you may have? You're never going to be perfect, but it's definitely some things that you can work on to be better as a person and just make you feel better. So definitely take the time to do the work on you. It'll make you look at life in a totally different perspective if you start doing the work on yourself. Number 14, you are in control of your own destiny. You control the narrative to your own life. Stop putting your life in the hands of other people. And I've done that before. I put my life in other people's hands. I put my life, I put what my fate was going to be in somebody else's hands. And when I did that, everything crumbled it before my eyes. So you control your own narrative. You control your own destiny. And just because somebody said that you finished, that don't mean you finish. You get up, you keep pushing. And you change it. And if one, the first time, if you fail, keep going. Try again. Like Aaliyah said, dust yourself off and try again. If at first you don't succeed, keep pushing. You control your own narrative. Quit putting your life in other people's hands. Because they are not going to handle your life the way you would handle your life. Do not do that. Number 15, it's okay to evolve. It's okay to outgrow an environment, a situation, a friendship, a relationship, anything. like It's okay to evolve. You're supposed to grow. You're supposed to evolve. You're not supposed to be the same person that you were three years ago, four years ago, 10 years ago. You're not supposed to be that same person. You're supposed to change. And change is inevitable. Change is going to come. You cannot escape change. It's okay to evolve. It's okay. Don't feel bad for growing. Don't feel bad for changing. You need to grow and evolve. If you're not growing and evolving as the years going by, that might be a problem. 16, meditation will keep you sane. Even if you just take whew, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes to just close your eyes and recenter yourself. You know how to meditate at one point, and then I went to Bible study one night, and the pastor said, if you know how to worry, you know how to meditate. Because you just sweat, you just sit and dwell on negativity or dwell on something bad. That's meditating. Everybody doesn't have to meditate the same, but definitely get yourself recentered throughout the day. If you feel like you're not having a good day, if you wake up on the wrong side of the bed or whatever the situation may be, about 30 seconds to a minute to just calm down, recenter yourself, you'll be okay. Number 17, feel the fear, but do it anyways. And I always heard that just do it scared. Saying you're scared to do something is just a reason to procrastinate or talk yourself out of it and not, not show up in the world as your greatest self, the greatest version of yourself. That's what fear does. That's what it's meant to do, to stop you from being great. So just do it scared. Just 
go for it. If it's something that you really want to do, it's, I get nervous sometimes about things. I get nervous, but you just got to be fearless. You just got to push through it because you only going to get one shot at a lot of things in life. And if you allow fear to stop you from doing it, you may not ever get that chance again. So do it scared. Number 18, take care of you. Nobody is going to have you like you. It's so important to make yourself a priority because if you're not okay, no one around you can be okay. And taking care of yourself doesn't mean like everything that you want to do, you make sure you do it first. That's not necessarily taking care of yourself, but taking care of yourself mentally, making sure that you're in the right state of mind to handle situations, to handle things, take care of yourself, have your me time. Even if it's for like 10 minutes, have some me time where you just sit back, breathe and think about yourself. Meditate, take yourself to get your nails done. Take yourself to get a massage, have some kind of me time at some point throughout the week. Even if you can't do it every day, once a week, twice a month, figure out some kind of way to take care of you and have some kind of me time. Number 19, never dull your shine to make others feel better. Never dim your light because some people around you might feel like you might sense a little bit of jealousy or envy from people around you because you're having a winning season right now. If you call somebody with some great news and when you get them on the phone and you tell them what ha what's great going on with you and they get real quiet on the phone or they say, mm, I wouldn't have did that. They might not be the people that you need in your circle because you clap for them, but they never clap for you when something good going on for you. They just might not need to be in your circle and it's okay. Don't ever feel like you need to not be proud of yourself because somebody beside you, life isn't going the way that they wanted it to go. That's on them. They need to work on that. As long as you're not trying to stunt on them or trying to make them feel bad, if they in a shortcoming... You shouldn't not be proud of yourself because their life's not going good because if their life is going good, they're going to clap. And you sitting up there worrying about, well, if I clap too loud for myself, then they might feel a way. Stop doing that. You deserve it. You putting the hard work in, you can clap for yourself. Number 20, you won't be everybody's piece of cake and it's okay. My dad used to tell me that all the time. You're not going to make everybody happy, Mahogany. You can't make everybody happy. Everybody is not going to like you. Every, somebody used to say like that I'm aggressive and stuff like that. One point I'm like, what you mean by that? But now I know that when people might call me aggressive, it's because I stand up for myself, but that I'm, I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm just not going to be a pushover. That's just not who I am. That's not what I am. If you don't like that, I'm not sorry. Just get up out my way. I will stay out of your way for sure, for sure. But I'm not going to stop being who I am to make you comfortable because you're not going to stop being who you are to make me comfortable. So if I'm not your cup of tea, you will not be everybody's piece of cake. And that's okay. <laughs> Number 21, not everything is what it seems. So my dad used to tell me that too all the time when I was growing up. Like just because it looked like good on the outside, they don't really mean it's good when you get in there. Just because people could step outside and make everything look crazy. And so he used to always tell me that. And I used to be like, he don't know what he's talking about. And social media is a prime example. Not everything that glitters on there is gold. Not everything that people promote and push on there. That's what it is, it's promotion. Or if you can see somebody pull up in a very, very nice car and they look good, nice, nice clothes, nice everything, they make everything look shining on the outside. If you pull a couple of layers back to see what's really going on in, in some people's lives, it's nothing that it seems on the outside. So don't ever get caught up thinking that what it looks like on the outside is what it really is on the inside. So I'm so... So, so big on that. Nothing is what it seems. Everything is not what it seems. Number 22, learn your worth and don't waver it. And that was one of the biggest, oh my gosh, the biggest lessons that I learned. And I really wish I would have learned it a lot sooner in my life. And But it's okay. I learned it. I learned a lesson. I had to learn it the hard way, but I definitely learned it. 
Know your worth and do not waver it for anything. Don't waver it for loneliness. Don't waver it for more money. Don't waver it to just don't waver your worth. Even with jobs, with friendships, with romantic relationships, just don't waver your worth. And for a long time, I used to put my worth in, when it comes to relationships, I used to put my worth in financial, like materialistic or financial gain. I would say, well, they do this for me. They take care of me. That does not mean you know your worth. Just because they're buying you stuff, just because they're taking care of you financially, that does not mean that you're knowing your worth. When I started to realize that my worth was more, once I learned that my my worth was more so in my qualities of, as a person. I'm loyal, I'm dependable, I'm responsible, I'm honest, I'm trustworthy. Once I started realizing those things were something very valuable, it made me think more like, wow, I don't want to just give that to anybody. Even with friendships, like, I don't want to just give my, my type of friendship to anybody. With jobs, I know how great of a job that I'm going to do when I'm doing anything, working on anything. So I don't want to just allow you to pay me this. If I feel like I'm worth, if I know that I'm worth more, I know that you're going to get a great job on whatever it is I'm going to produce. I'm not going to just take the lowest thing that you want to pay me. And another thing when it comes to knowing your worth with a job, you never get paid what you worth. You get paid what you negotiate. If you're in a position to negotiate, you have some kind of leverage to negotiate, definitely negotiate your pay. Negotiate your pay. Number 23, you have to make a conscious decision to be happy every day. So I had to learn this while I was in college, like probably year three. It started to get so rough and so hard on me. I just wasn't around the right environment, the right people that were motivating me and inspiring me. And that was more so because I was in my own way. I didn't come out the room to be around different people. So resulting in that, I was not happy a lot, but I didn't understand why I wasn't happy. I just thought, you know, but no, you have to get up every day and say that you're going to have a good day. I'm going to have a good day. This is a great day. I'm happy because like I was saying about gratitude, everything really ties into each other. All of my life lessons ties within each other. It's like a domino effect. If you lack on this, lesson you're gonna lack on the other one and then eventually everything will tumble down you have to make that conscious decision to be happy to be grateful just to get up in the morning to be grateful to be able to do things on your own to be grateful to be able to walk to talk to breathe you have to be grateful for these things so every day make that conscious decision to be happy because you can be in a way worse situation that you're in so be happy Number 24, have fun. Stop taking everything so serious. For the longest time, I was so stiff. I would take everything so serious. <laughs> I would take everything so serious and be so stiff. And I really missed out a lot in life being like that. And like I said, I'm, I'm 25 now. I'm 25 now, but for a long time, I just took everything so serious. Life is meant to have fun, so have fun in it. Be safe, but have fun. Number 25, budget is a necessity. Budget. Save your money. One day it will save you. If your money is not right, your mind is not right. So budget your money. And budget doesn't mean that you don't have a lot. Budget means that you know how to keep a lot. Message. I have a bonus, bonus, bonus. I have a bonus. Don't get so caught up in the destination that you forget to enjoy the journey. Learning this lesson took so much weight off my shoulders. One more bonus. One more bonus. You are enough. You are enough. You. You don't need anything on the outside to make you extraordinary. You are extraordinary. You are enough. You don't need anything extra besides what you are and who you are. And if somebody don't see it, then they don't need to be around you. But you are enough. So always remember that. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join the tribe. And until next time, don't forget that you're beautiful and happy birthday to me. <laughs>